Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to create some Christmassy nails, uh, not over the top, really simple snowflakes. Have a little preview of them in here. Absolutely stunning with the sugar effect. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial, so let's start! I've got my tips ready and we will paint it at 174. I, guys, I hope you are not bored of this color, but I'm doing, I'm going to do it all the designs on the tips with this color. Because actually at the end, my plan is that I'm going to have a beautiful picture of those maybe a hundred designs which we will prepare for you. And it starts looking awesome actually. So I just paint like a one coat just for a quickness really. And then I'm going to cook it. And then to save you a hassle of watching me painting these colors, I have already painted some of it, but I wanted to show it for those who, um, who are really beginners, like all the step-by-steps, but I need to show you some of the designs. So I want to keep it at, in this color because uh, everything together looks an absolutely amazing, you know? And they are all in the channel, like uh, the gongs and uh, like everything is just going to be this color. And it's so super cool. Cameraman is passing more and more to me. Um, so, you know, I could just like mix them like this. Oh, this is terrible. Sorry, I didn't plan that. I'm just too excited. So my plan is, I did plan doing them on all the same colors like, but I love the way they look together because it's the same kind of uh, theme and the color. Um, that's why I have used only this color for, for this year, okay? But yeah, put them on the side. They are actually super cool. Um, and then this one is cooked. Uh, so I'm going to apply the top coat over it. It has to be a top coat which doesn't have a shine. Uh, no, it has the shine, but it doesn't have the inhibition layer. So I'm just applying. Actually, I didn't cure it properly. Oh, this is terrible. But okay, slap the top coat quickly in and then cook it. Okay, so once the top coat cooks in, we remove the ready tip. Okay, no, that's the one I have done it. Okay, we remove the ready tip and we are going to do some outline. For that, I'm going to use the paint on French. I'm all over the place. I got too excited about all these designs. And um, we'll paint the outline. Okay, so I'm just picking up a little bit and we are going to paint the outline. I was just, I wanted to save you time, guys. Now you want to make it not too thin. Like uh, if you do it too thin, then it is not going to be visible, especially that the nails are carved. And I'm using the D-liner for it. And um, that was something which was always really time consuming for me to do it. And since I've got the D-liner brush, it's just much easier and quicker to do it. It just helps me to achieve what I want. Like paint those lines much faster. The way that I start enjoying doing the lines and uh, those of you guys who are watching this channel for a long time know that the lines was always my biggest disaster. I could paint the flower faces, everything squares, but not the lines. 
Now I can even start talking when I'm painting the lines. It's getting better. Okay, but stop it because then something goes wrong. Okay, so I have painted the outline. You know, if I would be really fussy, I would go and perfect it a little bit more. And now is the time for the snowflakes. What I'm doing is with my Dilariner brush, I'm kind of rolling it so it has a really nice uh, pointy shape. And then I'm picking up a tiny bit of the paint on French gel. And we are going to start painting the first snowflake. So small dot, just so I know where I'm starting. And then we are going to do the arms. One. Two. Okay, so paint those arms in between. Snowflakes are kind of time consuming, but they so cool. After we have painted that, we are going to add a wee triangle. No, rhombus shape. <laughs> I mean like painting a V shape. in between every single arm. Because they are kind of geometrical designs, like it's better if you do not rush it. Okay, so after we have created this step, I'm going to add the same shape, but just upside down on every arm. Snowflakes always looks pretty complicated unless they are broken down like uh, into a, um, more single steps, then it is much easier. And then we are going to squeeze out some smaller ones. What I did it was I rolled my brush because I could fill as loaded with the paint and I didn't want it as much paint on my brush. Okay, so and that's our first snowflake painted. Now to make the design more fill out, I'm using my duting tool and we are going to add more snowflakes in there. Take a brush and drag some of it. Okay, our next step is to pick up some sugar glitter, which I've got it in there. And then using cuticle pusher, we are going to sprinkle over it. So I'm always 
holding my pot in there <laughs> and then sprinkle it. One side and then the other side. Tap to remove the excess and then we have to cure it. Okay, so I'm just going to cook it. Now to save the time, I have um, did it already on the one new, the old line. So I'm just cleaning the excess of it after it had been cured and we can move on into painting the snowflake. So this time we will use the dotting tool, the dotting tool and then one, two, three, four, and then in between longer ones. One, two, three, four. Gosh, <laughs> that looks interesting. <laughs> and what I'm going to do it now is from this dot, I'm just dragging the product to the first dots. Okay. And then the ones which are outside, I'm dragging it and going over it. Okay, so we have created some nice shape in there. Drag, go over it. Drag, go over it. Drag, go over it. Now we need to fill it up with some um, frosty look. So. Pretty long. To be honest, this is the way you could paint kind of all the snowflakes that just change and like sometimes add single arms, like this parts which I'm painting now. Uh, sometimes add three of them and each time you will get a slightly different looking snowflake. Actually what I'm going to do it is add one another dots so that looks pretty cool together as well then some small snowflakes Just to give you a kind of few different ideas, guys, how to paint the snowflakes, because this time of the year, everyone wants the snowflakes on the nails. Okay, so we have painted another one. I'm going to grab the sugar, sprinkle it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Tap to remove the excess. And we are going to do the last one, just so you've got three different ideas. Come on, come in here. Top coated, top coated. So dotting tool, dot in there. I will do the outline after I paint the snowflake just because it was annoying me on the first one. And now we are going to paint rhombus shape. But when I was start doing these designs, uh, when I painted the outline, I got another idea for <laughs> new designs. And that's what I love about uh, playing with, um, with the things. You know, you do one thing and then suddenly more ideas coming to your head. And the idea was to use the white um, 
part looking like a snow on the road, like you know when you've got those wavy snow. Uh, so instead of doing it as a straight line like we did it on this tips, so we could do it like a wavy and then paint some picture inside of it. Like I think that will look so super cool as well. Okay, let's do those rhombuses. So after I painted some, I know I can perfect it more. Doesn't matter, like this one is going to almost touch, actually it's going to go through this white. Okay, so we have painted this first part. And now adding the arms. Two lines. Okay, and now we are going to add some more detail. And add some detail on those parts. Then pick up the white for the outline and start painting the outline. So if I want a very thin line, I'm pressing very delicate. If I want a thicker line, like in here, I'm pressing a little bit harder with my brush. Then I'm picking up more product, like there is no way, like when my brush is so messy like this, uh, that I could paint a fine detail. You know, this one is really to color in and bring a bulk of the product. So it's really important how you load your product, guys, as well. Like no way to paint some nice detail with the brush like this, okay? So that's just a wee tip, like how I'm cleaning it, rolling it over to get a really nice fine point and then pick up the tiniest product ever if I want to paint a very little detail. Just dragging the product. Okay, and then the next one is ready. So sugar. Sprinkle it. And 
and then I can show you what we have created. I'm actually quite curious as well. <laughs> okay, so cook it in there and let me see what we've got. So, close my product because I don't want the glitter to get in there. Move the things apart. Clean this one. And you can see it how nice and beautiful design we have created. A beautiful snowflake. Put it in there. Clean the excess. That's a really nice one too. And the other one needs another 20 seconds. So the sugar I always curing like a 60 seconds just because there is no top coat over it. Yeah, and this is cool. And you can just like place some gong in there as well and that goes together. <laughs> Everything goes together. I, I really cannot wait um, for the picture at the end of all those designs. Okay, clean this one. Yeah, so I hope you have learned something new and you have enjoyed this uh, kind of more simple tutorial with the wee snowflakes sending you lots of, lots of glittery hacks. And bye for, bye for now.